Blast off! Hey, you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's later this evening. I can't believe we had so many people pick up on this last little thing. I guess sex was, must be what's on people's mind. But did you understand any bit of it? There's some guy that's re echoed so many things. He has lots of people following him. The blind leading the blind. Just want you to know that we have this on our channel. We have this right down below on my next little, on my last video. <clears throat> a lot of craziness. And I think a lot of what I write and what I say makes sense, makes better sense. But to someone who doesn't want to hear this, the people that do not, understand the spiritual side of our Bible can't hear it and this guy he says no I haven't met it I don't know anything you know uh, but this is this is the way it is it doesn't make any sense the whole thing is really simple mother and father the first commandment set forth and who is mother and father but who's the father of us all Adam who is the mother of us all Eve all right, who do they represent? They represent the right and left sides of our brain. We're introduced to them in the first part of the Bible, even though they have bunches of different starting class or starting show uh, stories. What they're talking about is the birth of consciousness. Okay, and consciousness gives birth to everything else. But you have to have tango. You got to have two people there. You got two energies: a male and a female. God all by himself can't go out and do all this stuff. And the whole idea behind begotten, begotten does not mean he's begotten, not made. All right? That means he's invented. All right? And he represents all of us. He is, he is no, he's nothing all by himself. If that's true, then the outside of that Bible is wrong and the inside of that Bible is wrong all right and it means that you're making something up you might as well be the baker you might as well just throw a little bit of this in throw a little bit of that in and, and because you don't like the way this sounds let's take that part out and let's put something else in its place well that's the baker there is only one way folks only one way I've been looking up this one way for over 40 years 40 I'm, I'm 55 so i'm saying that a lot of times i didn't have no jesus in me and no nothing but i've had church all around i've been seeking this place for a long time i have been looking at the spirit for some time trying to put it together and now it is just as clear as a bell clear as a bell it really is there isn't anything else that I really have to learn other than just let me see it. Let me see what's going on. Let me read it. Put it in front of these eyes and I'll take care of it. I'll look at it and see if, if there's anything in there that, that's crazy because just something is in me that I'm able to see through Scripture. All right? It's not just the Bible. It's why we know that the Quran is, is a mess and all these other things. It's dark here, and I just heard something. It must be a big rat or something. I'm going to have to go check it out. In a minute. Now, the short bus to this story is, in that whole business of that last little thing of Romans, we can go into more Romans. So it's showing the two sides. It's showing that, you know, here, and telling you, you know, who, who made... God out to be a bad guy. God did. Who put us into this slumber? Who gave us the right to say, you take this slumber now. I want you to take it. I want you to go through hell first. I still love you. But you have to go and do the works first. You have to learn who you are. This is no free ride up into heaven. I want you to live life. And you have to suffer to get where I'm at. And if you don't suffer, then you have to do another life. If you keep coming into richness and boss, and you know you're you're, you're you know a king or queen or a rich person, let me tell you, salvation is not going to come your way unless you lose everything. Absolutely lose everything, and your heart starts to break, and you won't feel like killing yourself for real life. You got to come down. 
And that's what the whole outside of the Bible is about, to learn the fear of God. And then, once you've cried, once you have, you even lie for this God, but once you have lived that life, trying to be the person that they are, which none of us can be, none, one day you open up and you can see the spirit of this letter, you can see the, the word. Oh, and then you're directed. You find, you find a scripture that tells us to read this by the letter. The letter kills. That means you're dead, a dead person. Then it comes down to if you can find the spirit, the spirit gives life. So that when you find the spiritual side of this and learn. Hello. And you learn the spiritual side of this. The spiritual side kills you because now you know what it means to sow the seed. Now you understand what it means. You know, when the, the parable of the sowing of the seeds, the idea that there's a four in there. The four is representing the worlds. And we actually have to travel. That's our walk. The walk the way. We sit down. We don't spare the rod. We use the rod. Create the child to go up and see God. Go up and see Jesus. We can't go up any other way without this child. Spare the rod, spoil the child, stay dead, all right? Enjoy your poverty. That's what it means. You're not connected to God. But are you? Are you really not? You're just not connected to her. God's still running on with you, you and your bad self. And you can continue growing your hair and having a great time, eating up, tearing up, destroying, being your most materialist best. All right. No matter how beautiful you are, you can be Mother Teresa in a gilded cage. And you think that you, the Pope is on the good side of things? Not one of these people are on. No one of them are on here. I'm having an argument with a woman right now who writes books about this and makes money off of God, off of her idea. She believes in the Nephilim and the, where the, and the fallen angels and all the nine yards. One big folly, one giant folly. She wants to argue with me and say, I know what you're saying, you know, and, and this doesn't make any sense, you know. <clears throat> that means she cannot hear me. She does not see me. And you cannot sell the word. She can sell lies. They do it all the time. They do it all the time. That's why I'm here giving this away for free. I'm not going to complain. It's a lot of work. i got to do a lot of things. But I believe the truth is not worth paying for. you got to know it. you got to see it. And you got to understand it. <clears throat> not just recognize it. you got to know it. Know what it means. God damn. All we're asked to do is to honor mother and father. You know, and walk the way to do it. That's how you do it, all right? They are both the same. The Jews ain't <clears throat> doing nothing towards the Lord, ain't doing shit. They even represent him on the sixth day. They're on the sixth chakra. Do you recognize that this is where the vine was cut off for the Jews, right? For the Jewish people, right there at the sixth chakra. Because they can't get any further. Their hearts have been hardened. They've been put into this, you know, this Nazarene thing. You know, no hair will be cut off their head and they won't drink any strong wine. I hope you can see that what that symbolism is, is that the outside of them will never leave them and they will never drink from the strong, from her. She will, he will, the, from the well inside. It's forbidden. Till that day when you are brought up to stand before the Lord. Like Jesus says, I'm not going to drink again this wine until I see you on the other side. That's what that means. And if you can't understand what I'm saying, get on with yourself. All right? <clears throat> it's far too simple to clog it up with all of that Christian dogma. 
Been there, done that. We're not in that situation anymore. There's incest in our Bible. There's incest all around. And there is no place in there where it represents a male and a female as one. They're all screwing. They're concubines. They're screwing. They're, they're, well, most of the things is what they're doing is how it works. We're not going to make fun of scripture. We're going to show how it works. The female side of us is our emotions. It has to be in place for this to ever work. And so those four things need to be in line to make it work. So when we get up there with our spirit, which is a female energy, and our emotions, which is a female energy, how you got two girls, two of your daughters coming from within your family, making you drunk off the new wine and having sex with you. Okay? That's <laughs> that's the right and the left side of the mind joining together. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? Does that make more sense than they just killed all those people in Sodom and Gomorrah, right? For, for sexual, dis, you know, whatever behavior, right? And so what do they do? They ride right up into a mountain and fuck their, do their father, right? And what do we get out of this from these apologists, these people? Hmm? Well, back then it was really known that family came first. You know, if there was no one else to fuck, you could fuck your family. No. Never. It was never intended that way. It doesn't say it's a sin, but it tells you not to go and fuck your neighbor's wife. It tells you not to go and uh, uh, it tells you not to abandon your mom, not to slap her, you know, not to screw your neighbor's wife. You know, this is this is going outside of yourself. Anything that takes your mind, your God, yourself and gives it to, you know, the whore, the whore, the fake bitch out there. That's religion. The Bible is set up to give us hell. And then once we've had this hell, very few of us get a chance, perhaps, see the light. And this very same scripture, when read correctly, when sown correctly, when the word, which you are the word, the word is inside of us, when we finally read the word correctly, Then we're living by the Spirit, and with any help, the information that we pull out of the other side of this Bible will save our life. And that takes us from being spiritually dead and disconnected from God to being alive in Christ. Is that so hard to understand? Well, I'm not going any further. I've had a tough day in class today. My last class, my last one, had a had someone in there trying to teach me and school me and had an awful time, did a terrible picture. And all I asked was for her to leave herself outside and just bring in this, this part of her that came in to learn something. Because when we're in that situation and when we're in this situation here, I'm teacher, I'm teacher. There's, there's hardly anything else out there that you could tell me about, about the scripture, unless you're opening my eyes up to some more of it. But I'm over the outside of this, all right? I'm over this. Most of the people that come to my channel are learning about the inside, and we're all learning about it at the same time. I'm reading this Bible for my very first time to where I'm actually understanding it. Wow. Wow, you know, and in the Buddhist world, they say that smarter men than me have tried this and got nowhere. But this Bible, it tells me, and I can read it, it says, but what they wish they could hear what you hear. They wish they could see what we see. And I am not alone on this. I know grandma out there. She's like, like, wow, this is the coolest shit. It's the first part of connect, making this connection is understanding the word, all right? So anyways, I ain't talking no shit with you. I never have. And with God's help, I never will, all right? 
get out there, practice your meditation procedures, just keep knocking at that door. Okay? It's as simple as that. You have to have loved this God to find him. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time. Wait till your next life. Go out and be the biggest devil that you could possibly imagine. Or bury yourself in that Bible. Get away from us all together because you have to learn to fear God before you can be accepted into his kingdom. Love y'all. Where are we at? I can't find my I can't find my cursor. Well, it may not even be on. All right, well, let's see what happens. Do do. Oh, maybe it's out. Oh, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I might be out of a battery. Damn. How come I can't find that? Okay. Well, I don't know how to turn it off otherwise. I'll see you later. All right. Let's see what happens. Uh, ruined. I'm going to have to turn you off and see if it works. That was such a great run. Damn it. Motherfucker. So you came back on and you don't give me. Here it is. Oh, we made it. All right. Let's hope it works. I'll see you.